morning, my brothers and sisters. Come with you from the great Pacific Northwest. God is blessing you today. I trust he will bless you as well. A word of encouragement today comes from Galatians 5, verses 13 and 14. You, my brothers, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the sinful nature. Rather, serve one another in love. The entire law is summed up in a single command. Love your neighbor as yourself. Who is your neighbor? Is it the person who lives in the house next to yours or across the street? Or could it also include the person who works in the next cubicle at your office or at the next desk if you're a student? Could it be the person that is in line in front of you or behind you at the grocery store? Or could it be the, the checkout worker? Could it be the person that is on the other end of a phone call today that you need to make? Or, or who is your neighbor? The fact is, we are called to love people. Why? Because God first loved us. God loved us when, when we weren't serving him, when we were working against him, when we let sin control our lives, and we were enslaved to sin. But God still loved us. God had a plan to restore us to himself because of his great love. And, and after his great love, God calls us to love one another. You know, the truth is, is that we all have unlovable people in our life. Now, we might be able to say that if you don't have any unlovable people in your life, maybe you're the one who's unlovable. I don't know. Hopefully you find that funny. Uh, but either way, there's probably people out there who don't care that much for us as well. The fact is we're called to love one another. We're called to love everybody. This is that command that's <clears throat> important is to, to, you know, to love God and to love others as ourselves. So I want to encourage you today to reach out and love others. You're going to do more for the kingdom of God by loving others, by serving one another, by lifting each other up than we'll ever do simply by sharing our words or sharing our testimony. The fact is, people need to feel loved. We all have a desire to feel loved. And once we feel loved and we feel important and we feel okay, then we're open to the word of God. We're open to helping people. As we read the New Testament over and over again, we can see how Jesus first met needs in people's lives and then talked to them about his Father. We need to do the same. So I want to encourage you today, love one another, serve one another any way you can, any way that God leads, and God will bless you for it. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for today. Thank you for the awesome opportunity you give us to, to serve you today and to serve others. Father, open our eyes and our hearts to hear your voice and to be led down a path that we might be able to serve one another in love. Father, there may be someone in our lives who just needs a phone call today, who, who maybe just needs to be reassured of our love, or, or maybe someone we don't know, a stranger who, who needs to feel our love. Father, whatever the case, open our hearts and help us to walk through your open door. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do. Lord, we do pray for those who are hurting today. Would you bless them today? Would you heal their bodies? Would you <clears throat> take care of their finances? Would you take care of their, their special needs? Father, bless those who are hurting emotionally today uh, and who are hurting spiritually. Father, we know that you know each need that's out there, each need of the people who are, are watching this today. And I just pray for them, Lord, that as you know what's going on, may you bless them according to your will. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There you have it. Go out and be an encourager today. Go out and serve someone today and see how God richly blesses you. That's all for today. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.